I expect to see miracles in this place for the next few days. Amen. Amen. We're going to see the miracle of the Holy Ghost. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. We're going to see it not once, but over. Oh, yes. Over. Yes. Over. Yes. Over. Yes. Over. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Well, I feel a spirit of prophecy right there, I'm telling you. Amen. Hallelujah. Turn with me, if you would, to the book of Ephesians. Thank you. Thank you, all ladies and gentlemen, for the singing and the play of the night. Thank you. 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 you never know where God's going next. Amen. You never know the word that He has for His people. Hallelujah. Uh, the book of Ephesians, chapter number three. Hallelujah. Verse number 20, Ephesians chapter 3, verse number 20, says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding, abundant, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages. World without end. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's read that together. Now unto him that is able to do the sin abundantly above all that we ask to think. According to the power that worketh in us. Who? In us. Hello. In us. Go ahead. Unto him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ throughout all ages. That's the day. That's the day. That's the day. World without end. But yet, 
We have those that have the appearance of righteousness, but denying the power thereof. What does that mean? We're denying the right of the Holy Ghost to work, operate, control, and guide, direct, and move us into His will. That's right. Hallelujah. We deny that power. We praise God. Let's, let's just hope and pray that this word is not correct in our lives. We tempt the Lord sometimes. Right. Especially when we are coming into the church. When we come into his presence. God is calling us to make another step. Uh -huh. He's calling us to a new level. That's right. That's right. That's right. <coughs> a lot of the time, whenever we are being called into His marvelous light, we have been in dangerous territory. Those that will not follow me. 
Those that will not declare my name. Uh -huh. Those that will not set me up and say you are God and God alone. Tell me that war has been declared upon them. Come on. Tell them to come up. You notice it said come up? That's come up to Jerusalem because Jerusalem set on the heat. He said, tell them to come on up here. Bring their mm, oh, bring their plowshares. You better knock them in to make swords out of them. That's right. Go ahead and, and take your pruning hooks. Mm, yeah, not done. Make some weapons. Because when you come up against me, you're gonna need them. They ain't gonna do no good. But you go ahead and come on up against me. Since you won't turn your heart to me, you won't turn your affection to me. Hello. The Lord is not saying to his children, tell them that I, that I am strong. He's saying, tell the Hebrews, tell those that don't want to follow me to go ahead and declare how strong they are and we'll see how that works out. Come on, come on. Come on now. But I'm, I'm powerful. I'm strong. <coughs> Tempt not the Lord thy God. When we stand up in front of God and say, I'm strong enough to do this on my own. I'm strong enough to run my own life. God says, I'm declaring war. Now, is he going to do that the first time? No, he's going to give you a chance to back down. He's going to give you a chance to repent. Yep. Hello? Yep. I know he's getting quiet. But he only takes so much and he only gives so much. Before. You read there in the Bible and you'll see where he said, but I'll send the people a strong delusion. Uh -huh. I'll make them believe a lie. That's right. That's right. Be damned. Uh, yeah. That's right. I'll make them believe a lie. And that lie will send them to damnation. Uh -huh. That's right. We must look at what the Word says, not what we want it to say. It would have been very easy for me to come in here tonight to take that I am strong, say that I am strong, and preach on that and be completely out of time. I could have preached that and built us up and had us running. Oh, no. I'm strong. You are strong. Strong, but. That chapter is not the one to go by. No. That one is one of chastisement. That one is one of actually God just throwing down. That's it. I'll give you chances. Now go ahead and take whatever you got in your hand and turn it into something to fight with because the fight's coming.
she has word after word comes out here. Lean not to thine own understanding. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lean not upon an arm of flesh. Uh, he that doesn't think upon an arm of flesh is cursed. That's right. This chapter talks about what God is willing to do. Oh, wait a minute. This is that loving God, that one that won't bring judgment. That one that won't chastise. That one that, no. That, that one that, that just, you know, he's, he's just so loving. He can't do that. This is the God that I see yeah. saying, pull up your boots, because we can yeah. fish and get it on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's only going to be one winner, and it ain't you. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I set to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get ye down, for the press is full and the vats overflow, for their wickedness is great. He said, They're not listening. They're not wanting me. They're not following my word. They're not following my commandments. They're not living the life that is pleasing unto me. Get your sickles ready. Who's he talking to? He's talking to his angels. Get ready to go forth and take this harvest. The harvest of what? The harvest of the church? No. The harvest of the wicked. Those that will not turn to the Lord. Those who continuously, when God beckons, they may look for a moment and turn away. He says, tell the heathen. What's a heathen? One without God. One without the fear of God. One without the power of God. Salvation. Exactly, Brother Jamie. One without salvation. Oh yeah, he can whoop me. He can 
throw me up against the wall, it can crush me with his strength. But his power, his authority, can send me to a lake of ever burning fire. That's right. Where I'll never die. That's right. I'll be in torment from here on. I, I, I don't want no part of that. No, sir. Uh, I respect Amen. that power, Come on. that authority that can send me there. I don't want to play with that. Amen. There again, the Bible says, tempt not the Lord thy God. Yes, it is. Sure. Well, I'll, I'll do it one day. I'll get it right one day. What are you doing? You're tempting the Lord, aren't you? That's right. Well, I think I've got everything in pretty good shape. Have you? Are you still in control? You want to take the test of whether or not that God's in control or you are? Nobody wants that test, do they, Sister Jennifer? I can tell you an easy way to understand. If somebody comes up to you and says something, and it hurts your feet, makes you mad, and you want to kick them, you want to retaliate, you want to come back out? You ain't quite there yet. Because your flesh is still alive. If you're dead, I'm not 
not going to do it. <laughs> God says, tell him. So go ahead and tell him. Prepare for war. That's right. What did it say in Revelation? It's hell's coming. Or I'm coming and hell's coming with you. Uh-huh. Right. Hello? Yeah. Amen. He's coming. And for some, he'll have hell coming with you. Sad to say, it's true. Yeah. Why? Just because we don't want to make the decision. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Need to read the book of Joel. Today is the day of salvation. Amen. Today. Amen. Today is the day to make your calling and election sure. Amen. Today. And brother Dan, this ain't like what we had this morning, you're right. God sent a spirit this morning. To endure what's coming tonight. Hello. He's a faithful God. Yes, but He is a God of mercy. He sends forth His messengers to warn those that are in the valley of decision.
é o desejo. E a gente não faz. What's going to be your response? What kind of response do you burn from your love? Sister Miranda just fell out of the trailer and wanted someone to pray. Doesn't get to the work to find out anything.
Praise God. We're, we're glad.